Hey there. Thought I'd do a quick demonstration on how to convert an image texture to a vertex group. Uh, in my case, I wanted to do that because I have this terrain that I exported from Gaia, and Gaia created this mask as an image texture that says where trees are supposed to go. You can see that it doesn't put the trees in the rivers and lakes and on the mountaintops, so I want to use this mask for my alpha trees add-on. The alpha trees add-on wants to use vertex groups to define where the particle systems go. So, you know, the task is how do you convert this image to a vertex group that can be used by alpha trees? So let's start by creating two vertex groups. I'm going to call this one zero. I'm going to call this one one. And it's important that your UVs are laid out. So I already have the UVs laid out on this guy. You can see I've got my UV map already done. And let's go to edit mode. And I have everything selected. And with the zero group selected, I'm going to change the weight to zero. And I'm going to assign it. So all these vertices have, are in the set. They're in the vertex group, but they have a value of zero. Now I'm going to choose the one group, change my weight back to one, and assign it so that now all of these vertices are in the vertex group, but their values are one. And if we go into weight paint mode, you can see that the value of one is red, and the value of blue is zero. All right, next thing we need to do is add a modifier. I'm going to add the vertex weight mix modifier. You can see that it has a couple of uh, vertex groups here. We're going to choose our zero and our one. I'm going to change the B group to B1 because that's the weight of it. And now we need to choose the, uh, the image texture that uh, is going to define the new vertex group. So click new, navigate to where your, your uh, image texture is, bring that in. Now, if you don't see anything happening here, it might be because you're on the wrong vertex group. If you're on the one group, you're just going to see the full weight. Uh, you really only see the effect on the zero group. So let's go back to our modifiers, and we want to change this to UVs. That's why UVs are important. You can see how that immediately makes everything mask uh, map properly. Um, the only other thing you might want to do is you could change the normalize weights option. You can see how now you get a full value from one to zero versus um, you know less of a range here, up to you. So I'm gonna apply that, and I think everything else is ready to go. So now I can just apply this, and now if we don't need this group anymore, the one group, i get rid of that, and I can call this one tree mask. And if we go into weight paint mode, you can see that that's all nicely there. So let's go into alpha trees and just see how this would apply then. I'm gonna create a new New, trading, new setting, I'm going to pick a tree, and let's choose our camera, so everything points to the camera, and let's change the density, let's change the scale first, something smaller, maybe something bigger than that. Obviously not proper for the size of this environment, but I'm just trying to make sure you can see it. There we go, that's good enough. And let's change the density, just like that for now. And then under distribution, we can click on the little icon, and then we can choose our tree mask. And you can see how that adjusts uh, where the trees go. Now we can upgrade, up, uh, increase our density. More dense. And maybe change the scale down a little bit more to make it a little bit uh, more obvious. All right, so now you can see uh, we've used the mask from Gaia, converted it to a vertex group, and then we're using that inside our real trees to populate where our trees go. Alright, I hope that was helpful. Good luck with your projects.